it was incredible to see the team's preparation for these matches. It was it could be very easy, and past teams may have somewhat overlooked the importance or the just getting themselves ready for this match, especially the Ole Miss match. That team has uh, weapons at every position, and we go five every year there. And so I knew as a coach, the staff knew it was going to be a huge challenge, and they they took it. Maybe they did at first not have the intensity they needed, but they figured it out, and they came back in sets three, four, and five and, and figured a way to win. So that was a lot of fun. Um, the, old, the Mississippi State match, I, I thought the team just handled that one really beautifully. For, um, being on the road, being in a dark gym, being in, uh, against a team that just took Auburn five, Auburn beat Florida a week earlier, it could have gone in either way, and I, I'm, I was really impressed with the maturity the team showed. Yeah, it's a little nerve-wracking from a coaching perspective because they're they're so talented and players that everyone wanted around the country, um, you know, on both both of these squads coming into Reed Arena. Some of the best volleyball women's volleyball players in the country, and so uh, it's fun though. This is kind of what we train for. It's it's interesting how this all comes at the end of the season. We train to play the best volleyball we can at the end of the year, and we. That's, that's what we have in front of us. And uh, I think it's gonna show a lot about our team, uh, kind of what we're made of, a lot of our character, um, a lot of uh, how well prepared we are from staying in the summer and getting stronger conditioning wise, um, strength wise, everything. And uh, the build up through this, the last 14 weeks of making a team, a real solid team that believes in each other and has a lot of confidence. And so I think, these, these matches are really going to test us, and I think the team is ready for that test. I'm just concerned about maybe falling asleep on the bench because uh, I think the college kids, honestly, are, they start, their body probably can, starts coming alive around 9 or 10 p.m. Uh, if they're anything like I was in college. But they, uh, you know, as young kids, I think they're, they're going to be fine. I'm not concerned about it at all. Um, and, and I think that it, the hardest part is just waiting all day long to get the match to start at the anticipation. But once the match goes, they're not going to know what time it is, you know, whatever it is. It's awesome. The minute I finish a pregame speech or just a talk about what we want to accomplish, they're already talking. The minute I stop, they're already on each other, encouraging and whooping and who knows what. They're, and it's led by the Sullivans, the Loax, the Babers, the Ipleys, the you know, all, all of them, they're just, the, the bench has been incredible this whole season. They, they realize the importance they have to supporting the girls that are on the court at the time. And they are the first ones to high five each of the, each of their teammates. And it's just a, it, it's a, it's a true, we're just a, in a really lucky position that we have kids that are, that get it, that are so motivated and determined to achieve great things.